HTML, which is Hypertext Markup Language, which is a markup language we use to create online websites and web applications. It basically creates the basic skeleton of any site, which we then style using CSS or cascading style sheet. In this video, we're going to be learning 5 HTML tips and tricks that you should definitely know as a developer. So let's start the video. While we are at it, make sure to subscribe our channel if you haven't done before. At number 5, we have Document Refresher, which basically refreshes the document and redirects it to a specific site. In this case, it's Google. To get this, you're going to be using meta tags with a bunch of attributes. The first one is HTTP Equip Refresh, which refreshes the document. And then you have this content, which basically is the, is the duration or the timer. In this case, it's 4 seconds. And then you have the URL, which is the redirected site location. In this case, it's Google. At number 4, we have Base URL. Now, Base URL is basically the consistent part of any web address or web URL. Now, in HTML, we have a base tag in which we can use the href attribute. In this case, we're referring it to youtube.com and then target blank so that it opens up in a new tab. And now inside the body, we're going to be adding two A tags, one referring to Traversy Media and the second one to Dev App. And with this, we don't really need to specify the base every time we write the URL. We can just write the URL path and then it's going to automatically complete the URL itself. The picture tag is very useful if you want to have different images at different sizes of the browser. Now to use this, you can have the source tag with the media attribute wherein you're going to set the media query and then you're going to set the image that you want to show at that specific media query. And then you can have as many source as you want, but you also need to have a base image, in this case the image one. Now at 768 pixels, so this is the image that is shown. But when we shrink it to 495 pixels, the image changes. So you can have different media query, you can have different number of source tags, and you can have different images. At number two, we have data list. Now a data list creates predefined options for an input element. Now it basically provides an autocomplete feature for all the input elements. Now in this case, we have this input tag now which is linked to this data list wherein we have options with value uk germany usa japan and india now when we hover over to this input we see these options and number one we have icon now to set an icon to your website you can use fab icons but which can be really pain in the ass so what we can do is we can add a link and then wherein we specify the rel attribute as icon and then add in the link of the image that we want as an icon. And there we have it, we have the icon to our website. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys learned something new. So till then, bye bye, meet you guys in the next video.